I just thought I'd make a YouTube video with my tank in the background talking about water changes and strategies for listen, lessening their frequency. A large segment of this video will be discussing the process of denitrification, but it will also include other methods for reducing nitrate buildup. Very briefly, some simple ways to reduce nitrate levels in the tank is simply to remove as many inorganic substances or organic substances as possible, such as fish waste, and also to make sure that there are no build-up zones in the tank. You may notice from this video that I have no gravel in the tank, and that's specifically so that um, nitrates will not build up. Also, backwashing your filter media and just getting rid of the gunk from it will also help in this process. I think it goes without saying, especially for keeping goldfish, especially the fancy goldfish varieties, as has shown here, that water changes are essential for the health of the fish. There are many reasons for this, but the main one is the build-up of nitrates. Most of you would be aware of the process of filtration, which turns fish waste into ammonia, then into nitrate, and then further into nitrate. For most Aquarius, the process stops there in their tanks, hence the need to remove excess nitrate by water changes. In a small tank, this is a fairly easy process, but as the tank increases in size, it can become problematic, mainly due to the large volume of water which needs to be changed in order to keep nitrates at an acceptable level. For myself and the tanks that I run, I try and keep nitrates at below five parts per million. And I guess I'm in the habit of doing that, keeping them at such a low level, mainly due to my glory days of keeping reef tanks, where marine species, especially corals and invertebrates, are extremely sensitive to nitrate levels. And to be honest, I had to run my tanks with zero nitrates. And the, the way I did this, by was by was by running an external tank with a deep um, deep, deep sand bed filter. Just at the moment, this is just a shot of my simple little canister filter. Um, it does a great job. Getting back to the filtration process, there is an alternative to simply letting the nitrate build up in your tank, and that is to host a colony of bacteria which can process the nitrate. This is what happens in nature, and it also happens in sewage uh, wastewater treatment plants. And in fact, that's one of the main reasons why the plant is set up. Just sh at this shot, this is actually a shot of my denitrification unit, just to give you some idea what it looks like. Unfortunately for most Aquarius, or especially freshwater Aquarius, oh, and just getting back to the video, this is actually the flow rate of the denitrification unit. You'll notice it's very slow, and the reason is that in order for it to work properly, the effluent, or the water coming out of that, has to be very low in oxygen. Not totally low in oxygen, but pretty much devoid of oxygen. And the only way that can be achieved is by having a very slow flow rate. But keep in mind, the water coming out is has absolutely no nitrates in it whatsoever. So inside the main body of the tank, there is nitrates. By the time it goes through that filter, there are absolutely no nitrates left in the water, which is a, a pretty amazing thing. Unfortunately for most freshwater Aquarius, they're quite content to let nitrate build up in their tanks. And the reason is, well, they think, well, all I need to do is change the water. And in freshwater keeping, in, in saltwater keeping or a marine tank, it's a different story because saltwater is expensive and it's hard to obtain. And I suppose that's the background that I'm coming for. So you, you have to actually learn how to make your, make your water last longer and make it also very healthy for the inhabitants of the tank. But in a freshwater tank, it's a lot easier 
just to change the water. But even though we have this in the back of our minds, it does not stop a tank from still being high in nitrates. And the reason is because most of us being human beings and water changes are difficult and they require effort, um, often we don't, do, we don't change as much water as we should. By the way, this is not an either or proposition. I'm simply suggesting to add the process of denitrification to your aquarium. A person can still do this and do as many water changes as they wish, but they will be far less necessary. The reasoning is that the denitrification unit not only removes nitrates, but it also removes other organic substances or inorganic substances. It also has the water that actually comes out of the unit is not only totally devoid of nitrates, but the AWP level is also very high, or at least the potential AWP level, once the water has been reoxygenated, which will happen in the tank. In other words, the water is of a very high grade, possibly even higher than some people's municipal water supplies, which may contain some traces of nitrates or high levels of nitrates and other organic or inorganic substances. You'll also notice that my particular tank is very clear, and this is not an accident. The fish are, are active and they live in a clean environment. It also looks sterile. If I was to amp up the denitrification so that it, the tank was basically zero in nitrates, which I could do, then algae and even the plants would be unable to grow. An amazing thing, isn't it? Denitrification units require a carbon source. This can either be sugar, vodka or vinegar. In this particular unit, which is actually rated for a 2000 litre tank or 500 gallons, I simply inject these substances or the carbon source with a syringe. I find with my tank, I add about five millimeters of, of liquid to the unit per week, and it only needs to be adjusted once a week. Sometimes I would add more or less depending on how it was operating. I also use carbon, activated carbon that is, to help remove organics in the water, and I simply place this in the canister filter. I still perform water changes, but only to the degree that they are needed to remove sediment from the bottom of the tank and from the canister filter. In my particular tank setup, I'm already underutilizing the denitrification unit. In fact, with a much higher load, such as more fish, it would operate at a much more efficient level, since with the further organics in the water and inorganics, it would create a larger anaerobic zone in the filter itself. Theoretically, I could go months without changing my water, and nitrates would still remain at a very low level. In practice, though, I'm always changing the water for maintenance. I would really encourage you to look at purchasing a denitrification unit or making one for yourself. You will certainly not harm your fish and will give you a much greater buffer zone. This is what nature does. Also, the denitrification unit stabilizes the pH since it reverses the process that occurs when the bacteria convert the ammonia into nitrate. It reverses this on an ionic level. Initially, you will need to buffer your tank slightly with bicarbonate soda, but once this is done, it will remain extremely stable. Stable for months, actually. The pH um, also stabilizes due to the absence of nitric acid. I have met many people whose tanks actually have extremely high nitrate levels. This is a cruel and poisonous environment for your fish. If anything, by watching this video, it will make you more aware of the need for water changes. 50% of water change, or of volume of water per week, I don't think is asking too much. Any less, especially for a tank that is well stocked, and the nitrate will simply rise. I realise there are many more things I could say, but I think I've spoken for long enough. Thanks for listening.